In today's video, we're going to talk about how to beat the double A gap meta with the one step aheads. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for watching today's YouTube video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you don't know what I do here on YouTube. I post videos every single day that are going to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball in Madden NFL 21. And so if you're interested in getting better, I actually post four videos a day. One video at 2 o'clock, one video at 4 o'clock, a video at 6 o'clock, and a video at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time every single day on YouTube. And my commitment to you for 2021 is that I will not miss an upload at that time. So you can always expect a video and always just expect tips that are gonna help you get better at this game. So uh, what we're gonna be doing and talking about today is how to beat the one step ahead meta. Now, if you guys watched my stream last night, I stream every single night on YouTube at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. You saw that I actually struggled a little bit to beat man-to-man -man coverage out of my uh, Arizona spread. So got into practice mode, got into the lab last night, and have some really, really good material to be able to show you today. Now, really quickly, if you guys really want to support the channel, it shows only 40% of the people that actually will see this video are currently subscribed to my channel. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I think it will help me out, but I know it will help you out as well, because that way you're not going to miss any of our tips and any of our trick videos every single day. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk to you about this play from the Arizona Cardinals offense playbook. Now, for those of you that don't know, I actually have a full ebook out on this offense. It's one of my favorite offenses to run in the entire game. If you want to pick up the ebook, the link is in the descript description. It shows you full air raid principles and concepts and strategies that you can use to really be able to move the ball down the field at a consistent rate. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about H shallow cross from this gun spread wide slot. Now, you'll notice it's actually similar to the play curl wheel, but I'll show you a very slight difference that I picked up on um, actually super late in the lab last night. And that is if people are running mid blitz or cover one hole, I just want you to notice this really quickly. If I audible to curl wheel, I have that in my audibles. This is curl wheel. I've talked about this play a lot. You're going to notice a very specific post route. If you take a look at that left side, you see that it's kind of super uh, sharp cutting, only has one cut on it. The problem with that only having one cut on it is you're going to notice that against a one step ahead corner oftentimes um someone like a stefan gilmore what's going to happen is he only has one cut so stefan gilmore was undercutting this route a lot last night's game well if you take a look at h shallow cross you're going to notice that he has multiple cuts if you look here he has one and then he has an additional cut as well so the additional cut is going to allow stefan gilmore to not be able to play this route so if i simply block my running back and slide protect to the opposite side and i'll id this right side guy you're going to notice that not only am i going to pick up the blitz but i'm going to be able to throw that route to do to um Devontae adams on that side now to kind of clear some space one of the things that i actually want to talk about a little bit is they're going to do a lot of this right here right they're going to use your writing this a gap and try to send everybody at your at your uh, opponent. Now, and do a little bluff blitz, kind of block them and kind of bring them out here. Okay, so from a, from a blitz setup or blitz pickup perspective, if we just ID this guy on the right and slide to the right, that's going to help a little bit with the blitz pickup. One of the things I want you to know is I actually really like to zig the tight end, especially against man coverage, because these zigs are super, super powerful, and it keeps my tight end away from the user on the play. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a very simple concept that I really like, knowing that Lazard is never going to be able to be pressed. He's at a 2-4-5 delay gap. He will never be pressed. This is why... The air raid and the spread, in my personal opinion, does a really, really good job against this defense because oftentimes you have something like this look right here. Now, if they were to do something like this, you're going to see that now, you know, they're completely misaligned and everything else is going to go, you know, be, be a bad decision. So we're going to put Lazard on a little five yard or 10 yard out route, and then we're going to take Valdez Scantling and we're going to put him on a little uh, smoke screen to basically clear the flats if they decide to run flat zones on that side and what you'll notice here is we're going to pick up the blitz but we're also going to be able to hit this out route to lazard now out routes in my opinion this year are super super underrated not very many people are using them at a high level and what you'll also find is out routes are kind of one of those routes that really do a good job against a lot of things that people are going to try to do because especially against man coverage because as you see right here i have Again, a question I like to ask myself, 
who is open now? In this situation, Lazard is open now. So if I put Lazard on a little five yard out route, you're gonna see that I can hit that super quick, get it out to the sideline and go for a quick game. Now, what I like to pair that little five yard out route with is this route right here, because if they run cover two, let's say that they run cover two on you, and we'll show you this right here. Now it's very unlikely that they're gonna run cover two, but let's just say that they do. Okay, so they're gonna run cover two, so you set up your play, and on the right side, we're just running that simple out route. We got blockers here. And now if I look to the outside and see, oh, he's in cover two, I can actually throw that ball right over the top of the defense's head with a quick read right over the top of their deep, off, off of their head. The next thing that I'm gonna have access to though is this really, really nice little man beater um, from, this, from this, um, this playbook. So we'll show you this real quick. And I'm gonna shade coverage inside just to kind of give myself a little bit of an advantage here on the defensive side of the ball. But basically this post route to Devontae Adams is going to cut, now it's a little bit later, so make sure you do set your pass protection up. I think that's super, super important to share. So I'm gonna slide right and I'm gonna ID to the, or slide right and ID to the left. So I have this little route combination right here. Now if I suspect that it's man coverage or you know might be like cover three or something, then I'll just smoke screen about as scaling, right? That's, that's an option that I do have as well. But the snap of the ball, what you're gonna notice is this route to Devontae Adams will always get inside position and it will always be able to be aggressive caught or possession caught for a nice little diving catch animation. Now, if you want to get the whole scheme, this is just one play, but I actually wrote an entire offensive guide on the Arizona Cardinals playbook, breaking down everything that you need to know about Arizona, how to run it, how to pass at an elite level, and how to run a really solid offense in Madden 21. So if you want to pick up that ebook, that link is in the description of this video. Also, if you would like a free formation broken down out of the Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook as kind of like a sample, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also um, in the top left-hand corner of your screen as well as in the description of this video. And one last thing on that, if you ever have any Madden questions, you can also text those over to me. So now I wanna show you like off coverage uh, on this side here. And again, with the tight end, you can do a couple of things. Another thing that I could do if I wanted to is I could use uh, with this tight end, I could even take Valdez Scantling and put him on a slant route. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. I would recommend something like this right here. This is a very simple but solid and effective setup. Because of the smart routed, uh, because he's a smart routed out route, if they were to play hard flats, for example, that wouldn't work. And the beauty of the the beauty of this smoke screen, I just want to show you like if let's say that you guess wrong and it's cover two, right? I just want to show you kind of what would happen. So you jump down in here, you know, and basically maybe they go something like this, right? They run cover three effectively on the on the wide side, you know, and then they're gonna basically just kind of use her right in the middle here. But if you do guess wrong, I just want you to see that this combination right here on the right you can easily still pop that into Lazard. As you see right there, the flat's gonna stay outside, which makes it really, really effective to be able to to, uh, to hit that route to Lazard. Another thing is this little route to the back is actually really nice um, against the right coverage. It can be very, very effective against the blitz. But all in all, guys, this is a really, really simple play. I also wanna give you one more play that I really think is super, super effective against this style of defense, especially if they're running a lot of mid blitz on you where they're trying to really gas you up and send seven and eight at you. You could go to this play uh, H shallow cross, which is in the gun spread Y flex. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it out of here. And you could easily call this, I'm actually gonna break this down a little bit later today. This is a, this was the one play that if you watched the game against Yashi last night, I actually had a one good gain. This was my best gain on the game, or on the, on the, on the day. And really what it is, is again, you're gonna have this set right here. This is the look that you're gonna get pre-snap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically block the running back, we're gonna slide to the right once again to kind of give us a little bit of help picking up the pressure. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to have that smoke screen out there. So about as Scantling is gonna be on a smoke screen. I then like to take Tanyan and put him on a streak. And then I'm gonna take Lazard and put him on a slant and I'm gonna motion Devonte Adams to the right. So it's basically a right side flood. And essentially at the snap of the ball, what's gonna happen is you kind of want to snap him while he's moving. But this route right here to Devonte Adams, if you get just a split second in the pocket, 
this thing will absolutely torch um, this mid blitz style of defense. So that's one of the really nice things I think about this. Now again, do understand the pressure is going to come in on you. Um, you do need to get it. You do need to do a good job of sliding and blocking. Now right here, I'm showing the sending seven, and obviously you're going to have you know other routes open as well. But basically, you just need like a split second to get that off. If you get that off, that's a huge, big time touchdown against the defense. And what's really nice about it is not all the time they're not going to call. Um, they're not going to call that defense all the time, right? They're not going to call that. They're going to do some max coverage in combination with it. So if you can catch them in something like this and you run this against them, right? Then this thing right here is going to torch any kind of max coverage defense where there's not a deep half zone on that side of the field. So you see right here, it gets over the top of it, click on, and you have a nice big laser against that, that defense. So that is how I would attack and beat 245 double A gap in Madden 21. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you got a lot out of it. We're going to be streaming live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, answering your questions, helping you get better at the game. So be sure to join us on YouTube for our live stream tonight. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you tonight.